Welcome back. We're, I believe we're on part four now. We've had quite a, a delay really due to the weather and work and all the rest of it. We've just encountered three storms in about 36 hours. Uh, so we've had a couple of days of, of just been, been able to, un, unable to do anything. Uh, so we're going to have a go this morning at starting to get the insulation in. Um, we're also going to block this hole up as well. Uh, stop Martin getting in on the night. Uh, no, that ain't the case really. Uh, we're also going to have a go at putting the door in as, uh, over the course of this week and a bit of a, a ceiling insulation as well. Uh, so um, as part of my um, sort of cadging over the past few years, we've got loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of fiberglass insulation. So our uh, first job is uh, we're going to uh, run some foam down the inside of uh, the corrugations, then we're going to put some fluff in. And then we've got some, uh, I think it's 40 mil Kingspan to go in as well. So the fluffy stuff is going to go within the corrugations, then the Kingspan. The expanding foam is just going to seal everything up. It's really well fastened together, but there are a couple of places, just a little bit of, can you hear that? Yeah? So we're going to try and cushion that uh, without completely smothering it in wood screws. Um, which is potential places for water to get in. Um, that we're not going to, we're never going to cure that. So we've been battered for about three days now with rain, and we haven't had one leak, neither from the walls or from the roof. Uh, so that's a bonus. And look at that, the sun's out. The sun's out. It's the first time in days that the sun's come out. And uh, Martin and Popeye, they're absolutely uh, soaked through to the skin. Even though we've put them in the shed, we do leave the shed door open um, for, for their own welfare, really. Um, and as soon as we put them in the shed, they walk straight back out again. So uh, they're happy now that the sun's out. We're happy, we're going to get something done. Uh, first job is get the old Fergie out. We're going to get this moved uh, so that we can get this bottom bit in because we're up against the banking. Let's get on with that. the shepherd's hut again. Uh, now a thought occurred the other day or the other night when I was editing the videos from the previous uh, episodes and as I've been building this it's all been wonderful but I've been looking and there's loads of structure in the um, in, in the shepherd's hut front to back but side to side there's actually not a lot of strength and I'm really concerned when we go down the road that, that the windows might break. Uh, so as, I, as this rocks down the road, there's no suspension on it whatsoever. There is going to be flex in the chassis, which we've accounted for. But there's no, we, we haven't accounted for any flex in the in the in the body that way. Look, that's not um, that way. So what we're doing is uh, we've de well, I've decided that we're going to put some cross braces in every single void uh, in both the front and the back. Now there isn't a lot of. Uh, there isn't a lot of voids to do. If you just swing the camera around, you'll see we've done the front. Uh, I'm just hoping that is going to be enough. We've put a couple in the top, a couple in the bottom, um, and we're just about to start on the back. So, uh, with any luck, that will strengthen up our sideways mover, and hopefully, what Buster's glass. all the rest short so it doesn't really matter that it's a little bit short. Um, a bit carried away 
Come with me, come with me. So we filled these in. Uh, slight design flaw, there isn't much of a support up under there. If you hook your papers up under there, we need to put a piece of wood underneath um, so that we can screw it to it. Uh, so that we didn't, I didn't realise that. So that when, we, when we go inside, we'll put some bracings underneath so we can screw this backboard to it. All this uh, corrugated uh, steel is, is reclaimed. It came off a, a shed. Um, I can't remember where. Well, some, somewhere over Dewsbury, I think this lot came from. Uh, so we do have the holes to fill as well. Uh, it took us hours. We didn't film it. Um, it took us out. It took us four hours to fill all these little holes. Uh, as you can see, all the way up here, every little hole's been filled with a rubber washer and um, a, a roofing nut on the inside. So uh, it wasn't really worth filming, but we have done that. Process of cutting the bottom level uh, using the uh, well. I don't rate this to be honest. I bought it because it was cheap, um, and it's uh, it's not amazing. So we're just very very gradually um, working as well. So we're going to cut these, and um, we'll see what we get to now. Now things have progressed a little bit, and we've got a production line going now. We've got Barry and Phil here, and uh, they're he's putting in the uh, Phil's putting in the rock wall. I'm putting in the king's pan, and Barry's overseeing everything. Yeah. So it uh, currently smells amazing in here. We've got all the windows open, we're all fully uh, we're ventilated. Uh, Barry's high. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna show you what we've been doing. Uh, we're gonna just measure, cut, shove in. It's pointless videoing us doing every single section of this because you'll be bored out your brains. Uh, so uh, we'll we'll, uh, we'll show you how uh, how we'll be cutting each piece to put it in nice and methodically. Uh, here we go.
What a day! It's absolutely flown by and we've hardly done any videos so I do apologise but um, if I'm honest it's all been fairly monotonous. Uh, you can pretty much see what we've done all the way around. Uh, well we've started off uh, with the fluffy stuff. This all came out of the mill down in the village just down there so a big thank you to Andel. Uh, they, uh, they were stripping their offices out and they says do you fancy this? Says, yes of course I do. So we've put this in. Um, and then on the top of that we've put the, the Kingspan type insulation. Uh, that came uh, courtesy of, uh, of a young people service down at Murfield so a massive thank you to them uh, for providing that as well. Uh, very much known, known like, sort of Kingspan it is but this is uh, I think the extra therm. Oh yeah extra therm. Never heard of it. Does the job lovely uh, but it's going to keep us snugly and warm. So we've cut them, we've put them in, so now we've got the fluff and then we've got the Kingspan Stroke um, uh, poly Polyurethane Insulation, whatever it's known as. Uh, we've also, come on, come on, come and have a look up here, uh, you see we've got a huge gap there, yeah? We need to plug that somehow, so we've got a bit of 3B2 and we've wedged that in there now. A bit later on I'm going to foam all that in and then run some screws in from either side to secure it in place. So we're going to use the expanding foam to put that in. And then we need to be having to think about what we're going to do with the ceiling. So um, that's going to be for tomorrow, is that? Uh, but the, to, today we've well we've done about just a, well done all the all the uh, rock wool. Just got to finish off the kingspan tomorrow. As you can see, we've put us back wall in, um, and then uh, well we're going to go outside now. And I'm going to show you that we've trimmed off all the way around as well. So we're outside now, of course. Um, just. Bearing in mind we've had three storms in 36 hours. Uh, just spin round and have a look up there. That's nice, isn't it? How beautiful is that? Eh? So hopefully when we get this done you'll be able to sit there and look up there. Uh, it's pretty cool is that and quite often all that's covered in, in snow and, and we're in the green here. Quite often we're all covered in snow. We were last night, it, it snowed, it snowed like hell. It all piled up and then it went within a couple of hours. Uh, so I just wanted to show you that beautiful view up there that we've got. Um, that, uh, believe it or not, it's about seven miles away. Is that is that cliff on the very top? So back to current topic. So look at the bottom there. I've, I've trimmed all the bottom off. Uh, what I'm going to end up doing eventually is uh, eventually when I get round to it is making some belly boxes so that when I do set off, I can put all my deck chairs. I can put me. I can put me uh, my hot tub, my blow hot tub in there, uh, and we can we can carry gas bottles water tanks everything in under there so that is going to be some belly boxes under there uh, we've got the windows open we still need to trim round a bit a bit of a balls of that but we'll, we'll, we need to sort all this out uh, in time um, and get that sorted we've had the windows open because we've been using spray glue uh, so that's been smelling quite amazing uh, both phil and barry have set off back now um, they've been using the glue all day they've got massive smiles on the faces uh, as they set off earlier on uh, so that's why we had to try and keep this well ventilated throughout the day so snug as a bug in the rug uh, inside, we've got this bit done, uh, we'll show you around the other side now. So around the other side now, and as you can see we haven't had a chance to cut this off, this is all still all over the place. Um, but my calculations didn't quite work out, we pulled it forward so that we could trim this off. Have a look where the uh, tractor's ended up. Uh, we've run out of we've run out of, out of patch, so what we're going to have to do is we have to pull these trailers out of the way. And then pull it out further so that we can cut all the way along the back there. And that will really smarten things up. Then we need to go and uh, catch some uh, NATO green paint, something like that. Uh, anything. Uh, so if you're watching this and you've got a couple, about five gallon of green paint, uh, that's what we need to paint the whole lot, and it'll, it'll start looking dead smart. Then. Uh, so we'll take you around the back now. Hello. <laughs> we've filled that back bit in. We've had to put, we'll pull it forward so we can get to here, and um, we've also trimmed the back off as well. Now I was cursing my little black and decker grinder earlier and we discovered that uh, it was actually the batteries that aren't, aren't great so it's only when the batteries, the batteries sort of need to be at 100% for it to work fine uh, it's not got the greatest of range on it but we've, uh, we've managed to get sort of two sides uh, well the long side and the short side done so hopefully tomorrow a few battery charges and we'll get the, the other side done as well but I don't think it looks too bad once again a little bit of sealing to do around the windows and then we'll have it Good morning. <coughs> uh, look at this. Now that, that junk in front there, we are going to tidy up and drop the hedge down and all the rest. 
but yet another day of honking it down with with rain. Feel bad for my little tractor set out there. Anyway, we're going to cut some of this kingspan, get it in, get all these bits in the top formed in, and then look at the ceiling. <laughs> I laid in bed the other day and had a bit of a bit of a brain fart. Um, I was going to buy shiplap, which is about four inch and about maybe quarter inch uh, thick to do the ceiling with, and then thought I'm sure that one of my neighbours was winging a laminate floor away about two years ago. So oh, ooh, I could use that. Where have I put it? Uh, so as you can probably tell from the majority of these videos, we like kind of reusing stuff and and making making good uh, old things recycling. We don't really like. Uh, like buying new if we can help it. Um, so I thought, oh, I'm sure it's in the hayloft. Now the hayloft I built maybe 10 years ago, it's never ever seen a blade of hay, it's just full of junk. So we're gonna go get up in the hayloft and see if we can find uh, this, uh, these bits of laminate floor. front now, uh, probably 8, 9, day 10, something like that. I had a bit of a setback yesterday because uh, I tried on my phone. So my phone is currently in for repair for a new screen, we put it in my, put it in my coat, up on the top here, fell down, stood on my coat by accident, crunch. So yesterday wasn't a very good filming day, um, then we had um, the bright idea that we are going to use Brittany's phone to film things, so we're currently filming on, on Brittany's phone. Uh, all the videos are done via a mobile phone, we're not that technologically advanced to have a fancy camera and microphone. Uh, hopefully one day we might get to that stage, but at the moment we are genuinely just playing at it. Uh, so what we ended up doing, um, we've uh, just, just progress on the hut, we've completely um, done the inside of the insulation now. Uh, we've put some uh, box of wood up in the top, can you see up there? Hook your peepers up there, and then with uh, insulation foamed around it. We've foamed all the way around the windows, uh, the insulation's in the walls. Uh, we've still got a couple of gaps just here to do. We'll look at them at, at a later day. Uh, but we decided we'd get started on the ceiling. So on top of the 2B1 roofing lats, we've screwed and glued some 3B2. It was some stuff we had laying around, it cost nothing, uh, which has also strengthened the roof up. Uh, but it's given us a, what, four inch gap now? of which we can insulate. So we've got heaps and heaps of orange fluff. Uh, spin round, here's the orange fluff. Obviously we must have 20 bags of this stuff which came courtesy of the mill down the road. Uh, so what we've decided we're gonna do, um, we, we're, gonna, we're gonna sort of use a shiplap type affair. Uh, I, I was laying in bed the other night and I thought, hang on a minute, up in the top shed, I'm sure I've got a load of old laminate roofing. Roofing flooring which we're going to use as a ceiling so we've ended up uh, getting this old laminate floor which is a bit ropey because I left it stood uh, some of it stood in some muck so it's blown slightly um, but hooky peepers around this way so we've got this we've got, we've got piles and piles of it see it's a little bit damaged on the end that doesn't matter because we don't need that all we really need is the good edge so we can all lock together so we've bent these into place to make some sort of horizontal battens if you like and then we have uh, cut them up, cut a load of them to length and then screw them up. And it's made a wonderful job. Now, being a professor of wet string, I thought, let's put the cables in. And then I didn't, because there's insulation up there and all sorts of bits and pieces. I don't really want the, the cables to be running through with the insulation. It's all going to be low voltage. So I think the, um, the electrical installation is going to be a surface one using conduit and then I can, I can modify it in the future. So if you're wondering why there's no cable sticking out, um, I did think about doing that and then I decided against it. 
may be a bit of a problem in the future, I do not know. Uh, but the main thing is we're going to get this ceiling up and insulated. By the end of this week off, I want to get the whole ceiling in. Ideally the walls boarded and possibly a front door made. Let's see, we're on Wednesday. Uh, we've got uh, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, possibly Saturday, depending on how, how we're faring. Uh, so yeah, that's how far we're getting so far. Uh, we're just going to do a few videos of us putting the ceiling up. bits in if you like. Uh, why have we done that? A to give us a decent uh, uh, purchase to screw the boards to and B to hold the insulation in. Uh, now the insulation is horrible stuff so we've got to wear a mask when we're doing it. Uh, so while we're doing this I'll, I'll briefly explain what we're going to do.
later that day, Phil came over to help us clad the inside of the hut. We used a thin uh, 4 mil plywood that I managed to scrape out of a skip a few days earlier. There was just enough to do the entirety of the inner walls. As you can see here, we've pretty much done the lot. Just managed to video the last few boards going into place. This made it grand and warm and a nice blank canvas uh, to apply any paint in the future. So end of day, I think I think we're on either nine or ten, what whichever I can't flipping remember. And, and Phil's been over from uh, from over uh, Ferry Bridge sort of way to help me out today. It's been a wonderful help. It's really really moved us on. Uh, we've got we've got the insides uh, now boarded. So the back of there was the king span and the in, in the rock wall insulation. So we've had it as customers three of us today. It uh, we've managed to cut round all the windows. And so all that, so unfortunately my phone is still dead, so we've been very uh, limited with, with video making. Um, we're about to go off to Ikea now for some inspiration. I'm going to go have a look around there. Uh, tomorrow we're going to get this ceiling finished off. Oh so my. another amazing day, and uh, we'll see what, tom what, what tomorrow brings. Right, so that's the last of the ceiling up. Um, we're not going to bother putting any ceiling in this part yet because we've got to get the stove and work out the stove uh, pipe type affair. Uh, so hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I think this is the end of part four. Uh, we've got plenty of videos uh, to make another couple of episodes as well. So if you like what you see, please um, like, subscribe, press the little bell, do all the usual stuff. And uh, hopefully it'll be great to see you in episode five. Uh, it's all been, uh, we're all having a wonderful time here making, uh, making the shepherds up and it's great to fetch you along with us as well. There we go. So, uh, yeah, end of... <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter if he did, no? <laughs>